Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at the eFest uh, LUC Blue 6 OLED charger. It's a charger for IMR batteries. We're going to go over the features that it has, what sets it apart from other IMR battery chargers, and how you can use it. So, with that being said, um, let's dive right in. So, I have it open. Um, I have everything open that came in the box. This is the package. This is what it looks like. Something so cool and different about this IMR battery charger is that it comes with a Bluetooth app. It can be downloaded on your iOS, uh, iPhone, or any Android uh, device. Uh, it's the first IMR battery charger to have that feature. It allows you to check how much your battery or your batteries have been charged, how much is left to charge without having to physically go up and check on the battery on the charger display so let's say you have the charger plugged into the kitchen you're in the bedroom you can just grab your phone look on there and see okay my batteries have been charged this much they have this much left to go one of the very first IMR battery chargers to do that so it's pretty game-changing in the in the world of IMR battery chargers so this is the box that it came in in the box also comes the instruction manual. Uh, it's very easy to read, very specific, um, and it is important because it also has QR codes and websites uh, that it tells you where you can download the app for the for the for the charger to connect to the charger through your phone. You can do it by either going to the website or scanning the QR code. So it is uh, it is a necessary instruction manual that you will need to use. It also comes with a little warranty card. So basically what it says is it has a three month warranty through any um, any certified EFS retailer or distributor. So if something goes wrong within the three months of the date of purchase, do keep your receipt. It's not a bad idea to save your receipt. But if something goes wrong within the first three months you can take it there they would most likely either swap it out or take it and tell you you know give them a few days they'll take care of it but they will take care of it after the three months it has a three-year um, warranty through the company now yeah it might take a little bit longer to get it fixed but it does come with a three-year warranty through the company in the box you will also have the the power cord the power cord will connect to the back right there. It will just plug in like that. It's pretty simple. And it's a, it's a US plug. So as you'll notice, it has one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six slots. So you can charge six IMR batteries at the same time. You can charge 10 440 batteries, 14 500 batteries. 14650, 16340, 16650, um, 17650, 17670, um, 17350, 18490, 18500, 18650, 26500, 26650. That's a lot of numbers, so, but basically, you can. It's compatible with all types of rechargeable lithium batteries. Uh, do not put in non-rechargeable lithium batteries. Only rechargeable lithium batteries and each slot each one of the slots that you see here has an independent monitoring and selecting charge function system so what that basically means is each slot is a separate entity by itself you can vary how fast you want to charge the batteries in each one of these slots so it's not like you just plug it in put six batteries and all are charging at the same current you can change how much current is going to each battery so you can charge at a different pace which is uh, which is very cool and then it has a OLED display so OLED basically means um, it's the newest kind of display you can see it from any angle it's a, it's the new thing in electronics so it's an OLED display it has a night energy saving mode it has three optional uh, current modes 0 0.5 amps 1 amp or 2 amps so again, three current modes. This this information is important. Three current modes, 0 0.5 amp, 1 amp, 2 amp. So that's the current uh, 
that's going to decide how fast you want to be charging your batteries. So you have three modes to pick from. Something to keep in mind is slot 1 and slot 6. Again, slot 1 and slot 6 can be charged, can be used with current 0 0.5 amp, 1 amp, 2 amp. Not slot 2 through 5. Slot 1 and slot 6 can be used 0 0.5 amp, 1 amp, and 2 amp. And slot 1 and 6 are recommended for 26500 batteries or 26650 batteries because they're on the sides, they have a little bit larger groove, they have a little bit more surface area. So the slot 1 and slot 6 is what is recommended for 26650 and 26500 batteries. Slot 2, 3, 4, and 5, so slot 2 through slot 5, they can be used with current 0 0.5 amp and 1 amp. So only slot 1 and slot 6 can do either of the three. Slot 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, you only have two options, 0 0.5 amp and 1 amp. Something else to keep in mind is the total output of the whole unit is 4 amps. So if you have one battery in slot 1, another one in slot 6, and you're, you have it set to be working at 2 amps, it's going to go into what's called a full load charging lockdown mode. So that basically means it won't let you charge any batteries in the center uh, slot, slot 2, 3, 4, and 5, because you're at the maximum capacity. You cannot push out more than 4 amps. So you just have to balance how many batteries uh, you're charging and how many amps you want to be using it to charge. So for example, if you were charging each slot at 0 0.5 amps, you would be using 3 amps, so you're fine. You could also charge uh, two slots at 1 amp. So for example, you could do slot 1 and slot 6 at 1 amp, and now you got 2, 3, 4, and 5. You could do the remaining four slots at half amp. So that's a total of four amps, so you could be using all four slots at the same time. So the total number is four. Just divide it out by basically how many batteries you want to be charging, and then just go from there. But you can use all six slots at the same time, but you just have to divide out the four amps. Uh, but again, if you just use two slots and three slots, and if you want to charge it faster, you raise your amps to four amps, it will go into full load charging lockdown mode. That's, that's not anything scary. Basically what it means is it won't let you charge the batteries in other slots. And when you take out a battery or if you lower the current, then it will go out of that mode and it will let you charge batteries in the other slots. This charger also has things like uh, uh, short circuit protection. It has uh, over current protection, over voltage protection, reverse polarity protection. So with a lot of the IMR battery chargers, sometimes if you put the battery in backwards, you, know, you find the bigger battery is turning black, it has short circuited, you can't use it anymore. It won't happen with this charger. But just so you know, uh, it's pretty easy to remember. It has a drawing in there. So when you look inside, it has a drawing of where the minus pole should go and where the plus pole should go. Uh, but the minus uh, pole on the battery should be connecting to the, to the metal terminals. So the minus pole, pole again connects to the metal terminal. So the minus pole will go here, positive up here. And you just pull down on these uh, metal terminals when you're putting your battery in. So our next step is going to be plugging this in and getting it to turn on and seeing what the display looks, what the, the OLED display looks like, how the lights light up, and seeing it in use. So I have it plugged in now, and we want to turn it on. Each slot has a separate button in the front right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the OLED display, and there's another button right here. This is called the multi-function button. So the multi-function button is used to turn the machine on and off, and to display the serial number of your uh, of your device and also to you uh, to change the current uh, for any of the slots so we are gonna go over how how to do that 
but once you have it plugged in and you want to turn it on what you do is you just press and release and it takes about three seconds for it to turn on that's a little safety thing that it does it takes three seconds it uh, reads the information that if there's already any batteries in there but it does like a little self test for three seconds and it comes on and right now what it's saying is um, slot 2 no battery it will say slot 4 no battery slot 5 no battery and then now it will say slot 6 no battery so basically it cycles through each slot yeah, um, and that's how it's normally gonna function. It's gonna cycle through each slot. Uh, it it holds the information for each slot about three seconds, and it goes to the next slot's information, next slot's information, next slot's information. And the information it's gonna tell you is it's gonna tell you the slot number. It will say like slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four, slot five, slot six, and it will tell you the voltage, the current, and the the charging current that you have selected. So. Uh, it cycles through. If you want to look at a certain slot, you can press a certain slot and it will jump to that slot, show you the information for that slot, hold that information on the OLED display, OLED display for five seconds and it will go back into its normal cycle cycling through the slots. So right now there's nothing in there. Uh, the machine is on, uh, the charger is on. Uh, let's put the batteries in and then um, let's see how it's used. So I'm gonna I'm going to use all the slots and I'm going to put batteries in each one. Remember to check your minus and positive terminals. Minus terminals goes uh, with the metal uh, springs. So as you see, two have already started lighting up their flashing now three have started lighting up and flashing so that's normal so if it's flashing that means it's charging if it's not flashing it means it's not working and if it's a steady blue light that means it's charged uh, you're good to go so again flashing means charging not flashing means it's not working steady light means it's charged So I have five um, 18650 batteries. Now in the last one, I'm going to put a 26650 battery. So we got all of our batteries in there you can see they're flashing uh, and they're being charged so let's go over uh, how to use it so right now it says slot 4 now it says slot 5 now it says slot 6 now it says slot 1 so if I wanted to see slot 4's information I would press it and now it jumped to slot 4 and it's going to hold that information for about 5 seconds and it's going to go back into its normal cycle by default the charging mode is 0 0.5 amps so if you want to change it so let's say i want to change the i want to change the charging current for slot 6 let's say you want to change the current at slot 6 you press the slot key and press the multifunction too press the slot key press the multifunction too so right now you can see it changed and I think you were able to see that clearly so right now it's at 2 amps um, again I'm gonna press slot 6 and I'm gonna press it now press slot 6 press it right now it says 0 0.5 amps there you go you saw it change press slot 6 press it again now it's at 1 amp press it again and press it again now it's at 2 amps so if you want to change the current, just press the slot key and press the multifunction key later. Not at the same time, just later, but really fast. If you wait uh, uh, a second or so and then you press the multifunction key, the unit will turn off. So let's do it again so you can see it. So slot 6, press the multifunction key. Press it again, slot 6, press the multifunction key. So you see, you see the amps change on the bottom. Press it, the slot 6, press the multifunction key. Now it's at 1 amp, press it again press the multifunction key now it's at 2 amps so that's how you 
that's how you change your charging currents and again you can only use 0 0.5 amp 1 amp and 2 amp on slot 1 and slot 6 the other four in the middle are restricted to either 0 0.5 amp or 1 amp so if you're gonna be charging all six slots at the same time just check to see um, you don't go over a total of four volts um, the voltage range um, is between 1.8 to 4.2 volts uh, other than that um, the next step for us is we're gonna go over the app see how the app connects to this and see what kind of features the app has to download the app uh, in the instruction manual is gonna give you websites that you can go to with your phone or QR codes different QR codes for iPhones and Androids that you can scan and it will take you to the download link to download the apps I've already done that and I've got the app downloaded so this is what the app looks like um, hopefully you can see that it says eFest so I'm gonna press it it's gonna say trust not trust so I'm gonna trust it so it seems like uh, it already connected so I'm gonna check my Bluetooth see if it was on it was on so I hadn't set this app up before I actually just downloaded it so this is what the first thing that I see so now I'm gonna touch that I touched the little Bluetooth thing and now I'm gonna press scan and it's gonna display um, a serial number how you can find the serial number is you take the multifunction key and you hold it down for five seconds and it's going to give you your serial number. So again, multifunction key, hold it for five seconds, and it's going to give you your serial number. So after I hit scan, it showed me this device, but it says disconnected. I have this little toggle function here. I'm going to toggle it. It says green, connected. Now I'm going to go back. I press the back arrow and now it shows me all of the slots it shows slot 1 is already charged which is which is the red 2650 ba 650 battery and you can see it's charged because the blue light is a steady blue and um, it shows slot 2 is at 0% uh, slot 368 slot 462 slot 54% slot 683% and it also tells the volts and the amps so slot one it says zero amps because uh, uh, it's already charged in the slot two uh, it shows it's a 400 mAh battery it, it shows all of the information for everything so you can see how beneficial this would be because if you are somebody who who uses electronic cigarettes all the time and if you have your charger plugged in your living room, your kitchen, you can just open this app on your phone. You know which battery is almost charged, which is not charged, and you can go grab that one. So it's it's pretty revolutionary. And it's a great product by EFS. They make really wonderful batteries as well. Uh, it's a high-end IMR battery charger. It comes with a three-year warranty. Can't ask for anything better than that. So if you get a chance, please do check it out.